We're looking at this thing for an entire month. <laughs> this is what we're kind of coming up with, right? But we've come through 25 million URLs. Now, that's pretty decent. We looked at about 7,000 records, um, 8,000 records. So we're way over our um, confidence level of 95, error rate 2. Um, so my entire sample population is in pretty good shape. What kind of ended up being interesting though is kind of how this thing distributed out and kind of see where music and TV and movies are the lion's share, you know, coming in at uh, almost 74%. And then the rest of it, anime, software, porn actually didn't show up as much as I thought. And then other things like education and uh, and other little little odds and sods, odd site, like site rips, uh, cam support. The interesting thing towards the end of 2016 were a lot of uh, web cameras. So if you were on Chatterbait or some other thing where you could webcam for money, um, people were actually recording your thing and then going ahead and posting it up. And, and people took offense at that and actually went through the whole process. So you can kind of see if the site's still operational, media type's still on the internet and all the rest of it. We went ahead and we did a t-test. And I think this is kind of interesting because we're um, one of the underlying pinnings of this research is social systems rule theory. In other words, how do people actually react to the laws and rules we have as a society? And then we ran some real quick t-tests to kind of see um, my main access is, has it been delisted, right? Did Google do their thing? And the answer to that is yes. Predominantly across the board, Google actually delisted the majority of the things. About 95% of the things that were asked to be delisted were actually delisted. I'm pretty good to go. There's only 14 items that they did not delist. But then as we go into, was the site still operational? In other words, <coughs> even though you delisted it in Google, um, did the was the site still operational? Did uh, you know like so like Kickass Torrents is down now and Torrents.eu is down, but the Pirate Bay is still going strong. This is all about the Pirate Bay. So in a lot of the ways in how that all Hydra system worked, um, it worked. It worked obviously. So we typed the t the t test and you, was it delisted? And then was it in Tor? My result was 0.81. So that's pretty significant across the board. Was it in BitTorrent? You know, and that's the other interesting part on that. It's also very significant, 0.4. Um, and then was it still indexed? And I think this is probably the more interesting part of it is that Google wants to be the repository of all information. And the DMCA points to a single URL. And what we're seeing is very little scope creep in that whole process, right? And we talk about supra DMCA notices where, well, fine, I'll just go and delete everything that has to do with this keyword. We're seeing very little of that. And that's actually a really good thing. So it's being very specific and very focused across the board. In other words, you send me a DMCA notice for a thing. I'm only going to delete the thing, even though there's about 20 other things that I didn't delete that still meet the criteria of the DMCA notice that you sent in terms of the keyword or the name of the file. So if you end up with something like Pearson Education Book or Cengage Book, um, and you send me a URL for one, I'm not going to delete the other 20 that are out there. And that's a really good thing to kind of see, right? Is it still in Google, though? Heck yeah. Is the site still operational? In other words, um, was that whole process of site operations, it didn't actually shut down the site, it just removed a file. Um, is it still on the internet? There's almost a guarantee that even though you sent the DMCA notice for a thing, it's still on the internet. It's amazing how much the data spreads across the internet in terms of it hits one place, it's everywhere all at once. And then is it still at the original URL inside the notice? This is 0.7, that's still pretty significant. But the idea being is that even though you sent me a DMCA notice for a thing, it's still at the original URL. It didn't actually get taken off the website. It got taken out of Google. So taken out of Google doesn't remove it from the website. And that's one of the things that's interesting about the DMCA notice is sent to Google, only take it out of Google. They don't take it out of the website. So almost half of them, 3789, 3789, of those original URLs in the notice were still there. That material was still there, especially on Lime Torrents, especially on a lot of the international sites. That while you sent me a thing for DMCA, it's still a French site or a Russian site or a Chinese site. Um, and those are my big three, which is funny France, Russia, and China um, really have these underground hives. And usually China's by an IP address, Russia's by a DNS name. I find that also kind of interesting because going by IP address makes it a lot harder to find if it's just an IP address and not in a domain name. So this is kind of interesting, right? This is what we actually found. Um, we're actually starting to digest the data now, and I'm excited about this because that means the long night of coming through uh, DMCA notices is over, and now I can actually start playing with this data. And what we're basically finding is that, given what I'm seeing here, given the social systems rule theory that I'm working with, um, the DMCA, while interesting, works, but it doesn't.
it doesn't work. There's uh, even on the side of the people submitting the DMC notices and the and the people that are doing all the, the moving of data around on the internet, uh, the people that are taking stuff and putting them into these systems. Neither side actually really believes this is going to work. And I think honestly, this is like a precursor step to some further follow-on legal action or something else. If I can find you, whether that's an individual John Doe DMCA notice, which hasn't been in the news so much lately, or a site notice, hey, we noticed you have all this stuff, so go ahead and take it down. Most everyone's compliant with that single URL inside the DMCA notice to take down that specific single URL. And there's a ton of other stuff that goes along with it. So kind of fun, kind of neat, kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, music. Movies and TV, my big guys. There's some anime. Anime actually is, is is resulting in this. Software and then porn, which is surprising. And then other, other, and other is just on my my uh, education and site rips and cam rips and other stuff. Fun stuff.